Hello, friend, and welcome. I'm Nancy Redesell, and I'm so thankful that you let me come into your electronic world today. I'm here to give you an overview of some ideas that might help you consider living safe in an unsafe world through the use of natural remedies. There are so many things to be concerned about today with this, the flus, the viruses, the sickness, the, the turmoil that's all around us. There's fires and floods and earthquakes and all the things that the Bible talks about in prophecy that is going to happen in the last days. We can actually see it happening. And it's exciting when you know that there is an end and God is the winner. He he rules. He, he knows the end of the game. And I'm excited to know that I serve a God that has my best interest in mind. He loves you with an everlasting love. He loves me also. And in his mercy and in his love, he has given us so many ideas through his word and through the writings of other inspired people. So today I'm going to bring you some ideas that has meant a lot to me in my life because it's helped to change my thinking process in what I eat, what I drink, what I do. Because the Bible says, whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God, whether you eat or drink or, or whatever you do. And that should be our foundation in making our choices. When we want to make better choices, we need to have a standard. We need to have a foundation. So I'm going to bring to you the New Start Foundation. This was an acronym that was actually developed out of the New Start Lifestyle Center in Weimar, California. And it has a lot of wisdom in it. So I'm just going to give them to you one by one and we'll just briefly touch on them. And then after this, I'm going to go into showing you some hydrotherapy and how you can use water and just natural remedies to make yourself feel better when you're sick. So the first of the new start is nutrition. The N stands for nutrition. What food is there out there that you can actually eat that's going to make you well? And what food makes you sick? I mean, you, you, there are balanced foods, and the Bible shows us that safety according to God's plan. And it's not because he wants to take away good tasting food. It's because he's looking out for our safety and our health. There are certain foods that are just unsafe to eat nowadays, um, especially because of the way that they're being processed. Animal foods are extremely dangerous anymore to eat because the animals are not raised in a safe environment. They're being pumped with hormones and steroids and antibiotics and pesticides on their foods and vegetarian animals are eating meat in and of themselves, they're getting sick. And when they get sick, we get sick when we eat their meat. So if you want to really live a, a healthy life, you've got to choose healthier food. So you stay off of meat, dairy, sugar, heavy oils, processed foods. These five things impact your immune system and they will actually lower your immune system, making it easier for you to be susceptible to diseases. When you take these foods off, you've got to have something to replace them. So I suggest eating from the rainbow. Eat all the foods that are the different colors of the rainbow. The yellow peppers and the squashes and the green zucchinis and cucumbers and the deep, heavy greens that come out of the ground. Those are just filled with minerals that will help to fortify your body and protect you from disease. Um, the, the citrus fruits, which are so valuable at this time of the year, that will build up your immune system and help you to fight off bacteria and viruses. So nutrition plays a huge part. And when you eat the foods of the rainbow, the foods that are designed by our Creator, then you're going to have a much better chance. I want to read to you a quote from one of my favorite books. This is called The Ministry of Healing, and it was written by an author of over 150 years ago, Ellen G. White, 
and truly an inspired lady by God, as she just knew the foundations for, for good, healthy, healthful eating. And she didn't just learn it all at once either. It came over a lifetime. And that's what this all is about too. It's, it's a lifetime. It's a process of growing step by step to help get your body into a better state and better healing. She wrote, grains, fruits, nuts, and vegetables constitute the diet chosen for us by our Creator. These foods, prepared in as simple and natural a manner as possible, are the most healthful and nourishing. They impart a strength, a power of endurance, and a vigor of intellect that are not afforded by more complex and stimulating diet. So she has a wealth of wisdom in this book. And this book actually is used by many doctors throughout the world. They have used this book for 100, 100 years because it has um, spiritual food as well as physical food to give you that um, wisdom to make better decisions. I highly recommend this book. If you don't have it, you can get it online. You can order it. It's a very valuable tool to have in your resource pack. Um, the second of our acronym, the New Start acronym, is E for exercise. Yeah, I know, exercise is not the most favorite topic for some people. For some other people, it's a wonderful topic. Exercise is so important because our blood is dependent on the movement of our body, the, the health of our blood the movement, the circulation. We've got to move. Our bodies were created to move. And when we move 15 to 30 minutes a day, get our heart rates up, get our breathing going, then we're going to find that we're going to feel better. Our energy will be increased. 15 to 30 minutes a day. It's not much. Take this time for yourself. It's so valuable. Do things, if it's raining outside, walk inside your house and get a mini tramp. Walk on the mini tramp. I, I love my mini tramp because I, I can stand there and jump and walk and, and do some exercises while I'm watching a good video or, or talking or listening. And it's an excellent way to improve the circulation plus this, the lymph system. The lymph system is our protection in our body and that has to be moved by massage and, and um, movement. So I highly recommend getting your exercise on a daily basis, whatever you choose to do that you like to do. The best exercise is what you're going to do most often. So that's the E part of the New START program. What do you think W stands for? Water. Water is the end all to cure all. It is amazing. God made water for us to replenish our bodies we're 70 to 80 percent water in our bodies. Our brain is 70 percent water. We have to have pure water to keep replenishing what we are um, losing on a daily basis. Um, our body excretes a lot of water just through the pores of the skin. It needs to be replenished. If we're not thinking clearly, maybe we need more water. We need to keep that brain hydrated so that we can think more clearly. They found out that in Alzheimer patients or dementia patients, it's likely that they are dehydrated more than they have a disease in some early stages. And if elderly people who are experiencing some dementia will just increase their water, then their thinking process is going to be clearer. Their brains are going to be hydrated. Very, very important. Water on the inside of the body, water on the outside of the body. So valuable. Shower every day. Take a bath every day. Do something. Clean that skin. Our skin is our largest organ and it has to breathe. When it's washed with soap and water, then the body is going to be much healthier because that skin can breathe and it lets toxins out. You need to scrub the body. A, a dry loofah in the shower is perfect. Before you even start your shower, get a dry loofah and, and work up the body from the feet all the way up and the arms. 
Start from the hands, just lightly scrub with a dry loofah, and then shower the body and wash all those dead skin cells off. And your body's gonna be healthier, your skin will be healthier and much more vibrant. Hydrotherapy is very valuable, and we'll be talking about that in our hydrotherapy section, which you will see later. And when you know the value of hot and cold, oh, it's awesome. Um, every morning I take a hot and cold shower, and this is invigorates me and gets me ready for the day. Three minutes hot, two minutes, uh, two minutes hot, 30 seconds cold. Sometimes I'll do three minutes on the hot, but most of the time it's two minutes because I just don't take that much time. But it's very, very therapeutic to do the hot and cold shower. It invigorates you. It's like an, an internal massage on your blood vessels because it gets that blood moving. Puts the hot water, draws it out to the skin. The cold water pushes it into the core. It's um, very invigorating. Yeah, I know most people don't like cold water, but it's only 30 seconds. So you can do that. That hydrotherapy will really set your day and give you the energy. And you get a secondary warming effect afterwards also. So I think you'll find it very valuable. The next step in the New START program is S. S is for sunshine. And this springtime of the year in which I'm um, in right now, I love it. Love being in the sun. 15 minutes a day on just two inches of skin will help to establish enough vitamin D for your body for the day. Agatha Thrash told me that years and years ago and I've never forgotten it. So I try to get sunshine on my skin every day. Even if you can't stay out there and just sunbathe and uh, worship the sun god, so to speak, get out there, at least do something, walk 15 minutes a day, get that sun on your skin to help turn the cholesterol into vitamin D so that you can get that immunity, that build up. Um, another thing to do is to open your curtains, let the sun come into your house, let it come through the windows. Sun is a purifying agent and it will help to purify the bacteria that's in the air. That's so very important, especially in a, in a time when there's sick people, let the sun come into their room. Um, the next part is T for temperance. Temperance. Uh, how much temperance do we have today? When you look around the world and you see the morality of what's going on, and then you understand there's not a whole lot of self-control and temperance going on. But temperance is not just an appetite. Temperance is in work. Temperance is an exercise in, in whatever you do. You've got to have a balance in your life. So work, food, play, eat, what you drink. These are the things that need to have a balance. And the Bible also tells us that this temperance is a gift from God. He gives us the willpower from, through the power of the Holy Spirit. And so if you don't feel like you've got enough willpower, ask for the gift. God is more than happy to give you that gift of willpower so that you can choose to say no when you are tempted with things that are going to deplete your immune system. The candy bar on the end aisle of the grocery store, why do you think they put it on an end cap? It's impulse thinking, and it's there to get you to see that last thing. Oh, maybe I'll just take a candy bar. No, it's not a good idea. Choose to say no. Choose to eat the foods that are valuable to your body, things that will build you up. Our next letter in the new start is A for air. Fresh air. I can't tell you how excited I am about the fresh air. This spring, it is just glorious, and I love getting out in my garden and working and seeing the flowers blooming, feeling the sun, getting the movement so you can get so much done even out in the garden and use a lot of those letters up so that you can get yourself feeling better. Very important though for the sick is to open the window, especially at night, letting that fresh air come in so that they, they can breathe in fresh air. You don't want stale air 
in a sick room. The sick room has got to be a room that's free of sickness and disease. And you want to clean that with the sunshine and the fresh air. Another thing you can do when in a sick room, since I'm on that topic, just a little note, is, and this has been done, it's an old wives tale, but it has been shown to be true. You can take a raw onion, slice it thin, put a few slices on a plate next to the bedside of the sick person. This onion is a drawing agent, and it will actually draw the bacteria into that onion and capture it. And that will also help to purify the air. You can put a raw onion in it and in your refrigerator, and that also helps to absorb um, the bad odors. Of course, you need to find out what the bad odor is coming from, but it will help to absorb the bad odors. But an onion by the bedside, great idea for the sick room. Our next letter that we are going to do is R for rest. How many of us get enough rest? I don't. I, that is one of my areas which I fall down greatly because I get most of my good work done later at night after everyone's gone to bed. But rest is so vitally important. It has been shown that the hours of sleep before midnight are twice as valuable as the hours after midnight. I, I, I stress this because this is when your melatonin is going to be produced. It's when you're going to find yourself getting into a better REM sleep. You're going to feel more refreshed. And if you have to go to bed at 8 or 9 o'clock, do it. Get up at 4 in the morning. You will have had plenty of rest. Your body will have relaxed. You will have felt great. And after a good night's sleep, you know that when you don't have a good night's sleep, you just feel tough in the morning. You, you feel heavy and the, your energy is not there. But that good night's sleep, oh, it is so reviving and refreshing. So I want to encourage you to try to get to bed by 9 or 10 and get that hours of sleep in before midnight. God will bless that for you. And rest is not just the sleep that you get at night. Rest is just doing something different from what you're used to doing. So if you're really active during the day, you're in outside, you're in construction, then you want to rest, you want to sit, you want to do something, read quietly or just walk quietly. If you're used to um, sitting at an office desk all day, if you are just sitting there and you're constantly working on a computer, then you need to do something active and that would be your rest. It would be a change from your normal activity. So going out for a vigorous walk after sitting, even in the middle of the day, go out and take your lunch break outside. That's resting from what you're, you're used to doing. Give the body a break, give your eyes a break, your ears a break, and let your body come into balance by bringing all these harmonious ideas in mind. The last letter that we have is T for trust in God. This is the foundation for everything that we do. Everything that I teach, it's what the world is built on. It's God, our creator, that desires us to be healthy. Third John 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. God wants us to be healthy. He's given us all these ideas. He's given us the guidelines and the standards. But the true standards is here in his word. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 and 17 and 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 tell us that our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Our body is not our own. We do not have the right to eat what we want and drink what we want and, and do what we want. Our body is God's temple. If we choose to be committed to God and choose to live in His service, then we need to protect the temple, our heart, our minds, where He wants to live within us. It's our responsibility to make those decisions, to choose the foods, the drinks, the exercise, how much sun, how much rest that we get. These are all so valuable. And 
it's very, very important that we understand that when we give our lives to Christ, He is going to bless us. He will bless our efforts. This is His desire. Romans 12, 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. You don't want a dead sacrifice, one that's sickly all the time, one that's full of disease, with diabetes and heart disease and colon cancers and, and all the other diseases that are so avoidable in how we live our lives. We can avoid a lot of these diseases. 95 to 97 percent of all diseases out there are completely avoidable just by our lifestyle, according to Dr. Greger and Dr. Neil Barnard and, and Dr. Thurman and so many other doctors are saying that when we change our lifestyle and our habits, we can avoid so many of the common diseases out there. Trust in God. Third John 2, I've already said, he wants us to be healthy. And Proverbs 17, 22 is a good one. This is it, just so, so important. A, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. God doesn't want us to be down-faced Christians. He wants us to be upbeat, lively, happy. And even when there's turmoil around us, we can have peace that passes all understanding because he's promised us that. Trust in God, foundation for a healthy lifestyle. And it is the basis for how we can live in these trying times. Even though there is flus rampant and viruses that we don't have cures for, we can trust that God has a plan for each one of us. He knows the plan. And he knows that if you commit your life to him, he will take care of you. Whether you live on this earth or not, it's irrelevant. This is just a temporary life for us. But our life, our hope is in eternity. Jesus is wanting to live with us. He is coming back to get us again. And it's going to be very soon. There's so much evidence out there that all the prophecies are being fulfilled from Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21. They're happening right before our very eyes. We need to trust God. Let that be your foundation. I encourage you. I implore you. I plead with you. Put Jesus first in your life. Make him the foundation of your life. And your rewards will be in heaven. Trust in God, to me, is the most important step of the whole New Start program, because without God, what do we have? I was sitting there thinking about God the other day, and I just wrote down some thoughts that I want to share with you. God is our ultimate healer. He promises to provide all our needs. He leads us in the way to go. He protects us from harm, hears us in trouble, delivers us from trials, encourages us when we're down, picks us up with his righteous right hand, saves us from our sins. He gives his angels charge over us to watch over us in all our ways. He sends us the Holy Spirit to teach us and he hears our prayers. He feeds us when we're hungry and he gives us water to drink when we're thirsty. Why should we not trust God? He is everything. He is our Heavenly Father. He knows us so intimately. There's no Nothing we can do to hide from him. He even knows the thoughts that are in our minds. We can't hide from God. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us that we should be called the sons and daughters of God. It's just amazing that his love is so great and he wants to give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. I invite you today to accept Jesus as your Savior and let God give you that peace as you learn to trust in him one step at a time, one choice at a time. It's amazing the difference that it'll make. Now the last two steps of our New Start program, the ones that I've included, are A and B. A is for attitude. We need an attitude of gratitude. And when we think about all the blessings that we have, even when things are in chaos around us, we can still see something to be thankful for, something to, to just be grateful that we have 
such as eyes to see, ears to hear, a mouth to speak, feet to walk. I mean, how much do we take for granted when we go outside and, and we see the trees and the flowers and hear the birds singing and, and feel the wind and we take it for granted. But when we have an attitude of gratitude, it just lifts our spirit. And once we have that, then the B is for benevolence. We share what we've been given. Praise God that he has given us opportunities to do that. I'm so excited to be able to share all this with you. And it's just my experiences, my knowledge that I've gained over the years. And I'm here to give it to you today. And I hope that it's given you some kind of encouragement a little bit further on your path to be healthy. And as you make the lifestyle changes, I pray that you will take these steps and incorporate them into your lives. And then you'll be able to see that you can live safe in an unsafe world. If you want to contact me for anything, you can put, uh, I'll have my contact up on the screen. And please feel free to email me at any time, Nancy Redesell at generihealth at gmail.com. May the Lord bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.